Lastly, how about diet? You know, we've known since the Middle Ages, or we've known since uh, uh, actually Plato, that that uh, um, that diet can affect epilepsy, the sacred illness, and that we knew that in the Middle Ages, when when people would go on pilgrimages, they would stop eating and their seizures would disappear, and then when they got to the the place they started eating again, seizures would re reappear, and uh, uh, Johns Hopkins was really uh, uh, very very important in, in reestablishing the importance of diet. But now we have a number of variations on a theme that the modified Atkins diet is, is seen to be clearly beneficial and a, an even easier diet, the low glycemic index diet. But diet, the real questions with diet are who, what, where, and why, and what is the experience in this disorder? Well, first of all, just to give you a sense of our diet, you can see the uh, American diet on the, on the right uh, where the majority of the calories are carbohydrates with um, some protein and some fats, while the ketogenic diet is primarily fat with little uh, protein and carbs. The low glycemic index allows, again, it's much more forgiving, allows more protein, and allows more low carbohydrate, um, uh, um, so low uh, glycemic index carbs. Where does the modified Atkins diet fall in those, uh, in relation to those? The modified Atkins diet is in between the low glycemic index diet and the ketogenic diet. And just to give you a sense of glycemic index, and, and, and just you, you can think about this, it makes some sense that uh, fruits with a high glycemic index include melons, while grapefruit have low, you know, and, and with breads, bagels have high, while whole grain breads with two to five uh, uh, grams of fiber have low. And so it, it, you, all you have to really do is try to get rid of the simple carbohydrates in your diet, and that will improve um, seizure control, and it's additive to electrical stimulation, it's additive to your anti-epileptic drugs, so you can get improvement in people, you can put in people's hands something that they can do for themselves. Well, the question is how good are these, and uh, we have data on the ketogenic diet, uh, and as you can see, um, responder rates are in, in the overall is 67%. So that's a, that's a very good responder rate for, for uh, again, compared to our anti-epileptic drugs and, you know, similar to uh, electrical stimulation long term. And so it is certainly something that to, to offer the patients once, you know, uh, if they have medically intractable epilepsy. Do you offer one versus the other? Um, VNS versus or? Well, meaning a ketogenic diet or a modified diet. Well, um, I think most adults have a difficulty with the ketogenic diet and it's, it's very restrictive. Um, kids, it's easier. If, if a child is, has developmental delay and can't swallow and, and has tube fed, that's, it's easy as pie to put them on the, you know, the, the ketogenic diet. But I think that the, um, the, low glyce the, the problem with uh, the low glycemic index is the easiest of them, and it's the one that they can probably stay on the longest. But the modified Atkins is also uh, very good and, and clearly has been shown to be similarly effective. Mm -hmm.